So when I was in high school, um, it was my senior year. Me and my friends, we started a um, dance club with the Poetry and Arts Society and we had worked hard. We did a presentation in front of the principal, everything that we could possibly do to be able to make um, this dance club work. Um, at that time, I was going to a suburban school. Um, we had a dance team, but there was limit, limited um, access to it. So we wanted to create something where everybody can enjoy and we would have um, people come in and teach different dance techniques. We would make up routines and everything. And I remember at that time, I had met Pastor Cherie. And I saw her in her dance ministry um, dance to um, Jay Moss, We Must Praise. And I remember just thinking like, wow, that's so sweet. Like, it was a song that'd be like, if I was a drummer, I would use my cymbal. Like, it was just so sweet. Like, I just fell in love with the way that they were moving. And so I was like, you know, I want to do this. So um, come that following year, 2007, it was the first time that um, we had the opportunity to dance at church and I remember our talent show was coming at school and the schedule um, for the talent show was basically like at the same time for the um, church and I remember her saying you have to pick you know, either you be there and rehearsal for you to be able to um, minister on Sunday or you miss it and you don't get to minister. And I remember making that choice about, um, I remember making that choice even at that young of an age to be able to do it. And no matter how hard we worked to get that club and everything, I just... I don't know I felt something you know pulling me to dance for God and so I made that decision and I decided that I was gonna go with God all the way right so I end up dancing missed our talent show everything that we really worked hard for the talent show was like a way for us to show off you know what we had been doing well, I missed the talent show, but I was able to go to rehearsal. I was able to dance that Sunday. I remember the first feeling that I got dancing for God. It was a different feeling. It was like a feeling of being proud and strong and happy and fulfilling. And I'll never forget that. And, um, from there, I just grew, you know? When I the time passes, you know, I'm in this dance ministry. I completely stopped doing, you know, the dance club. Um, I started giving my heart and my soul to the dance ministry and one thing with Pastor Cherie is that she teaches you not just to dance, not just the, a one-two step, but she teaches you a lifestyle. She teaches you to worship God. She teaches you, you know, to pray, how to worship, you know. Um, she tells you how to surrender yourself. And that's one key thing because you can have somebody dancing 
and you can tell the difference between somebody that's just dancing and somebody that's ministering. You really gotta have that connection with God. And the only way that you're going to have that connection with God is if you give yourself and you become a vessel for God. And that's literally what she was teaching us, that we had to become a vessel for God. You know, uh, the reason why I'm so committed to God and the reason why I'm so committed to church and the things that I do, um, it's, it started with dance. <laughs> Because I literally had to learn how to commit myself to God to be able to dance. Like, that's a testimony in within itself. That through dance, I learned how to be committed. And I would have never learned that if Pastor Cherie would have never taught that. And so when you go to her school, you're not just getting somebody that's going to teach you how to spin and twirl. But you're going to get something that you need that's going to help you carry on your life and especially with your Christian walk and the things that she taught about commitment obedience you know um, we had to be disciplined we had to be able to Say, you know what? I'm gonna get my all in this. I'm gonna come to rehearsal. I'm gonna do what I have to do. And there would be times where we would have rehearsal and we'd be dancing. Next thing you know, you look up, everybody on the floor worshiping. Like, those were the kind of rehearsals that we had. And it was just always amazing. And, you know, at that time, I was so young when I started with her. I was um, seven. I was so young when I started with her, but I remember just wanting to worship God. <laughs> Through dance, and it was dance that built my prayer life. Because I would start off, you know, worshiping to a song. Then she would tell us, you know, go home, listen to the song, just allow it to get in your spirit. When you go home, you listen to the song. By the time you dance, you read a couple of scriptures. Next thing you know, I was on my face praying. And that's really literally how I learned how to pray. How I became a prayer warrior because of the moments where I worship God through dance. And it's something. It's just something great when you can have an experience like that. really wanted to share with my daughter um I remember when she was born like I was right away like I can't wait till she be able to be in yeah. summer camp and stuff for dance like I would take her and you would see her dancing trying to dance and I just couldn't wait till she was able to actually be a part of it and now she's on a dance ministry she's so dedicated even like when she's sick she still be like oh mama i gotta go i gotta go to dance rehearsal you feel good because you're learning that you're not just a dancer but you're a vessel you're to be used by god you don't know what i've been through And you know, that feeling that you get when you think that you made a difference and you do, because you know, there's people crying you like, when you dance, I felt this or anything like that. When you hear those testimonies, you know, you feel so good inside that you have made a difference and you can't be up there dancing in your flesh. And that's one thing that Pastor Cherie, she would tell us, like, it ain't about you. 
It ain't about, you know, numbers, nothing like that. This is about worshiping God. Like if someone finds out the truth, that I'm sure. And because she's, she was so firm in saying that, you know, you had no choice but to worship God, literally. And when you think about that, like, you literally learned something that you can carry, not just for dance, but for the rest of your life. And I'm so grateful for my opportunity to be able to work with her. Seven, when I actually first did. You know, it's 2018 now. It's so amazing to see. And I hope and I pray that you would consider joining the school. That you follow the guidelines and the tools that she give you. When you have someone that's willing to teach you and to impart in you, you know, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to, you know, just be out here, you know, looking crazy. But you want somebody that's been there, that has the experience, that, you know, will tell you the truth. <laughs> like, no, that doesn't look right. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to give any old thing to God. You know, she would always tell us that if I can go so hard for the world, I need to go even more for God. And that's why you have to be totally committed to it when you do it. And I just hope that you will use my testimony, my life, that dance completely helped me. Not just to be able to give me the tools to dance, but it gave me the tools to survive. How to worship God in the midst of trouble you know how to encourage myself because there would be times where i would just get up and put on a worship song like she would tell us to do and i would dance next night i'd be praying for hours you know i literally built my prayer life through dance um i literally learned how to be committed to god through dance and it's such a blessing and I just hope that you know that if he did it for me, he can do it for you. Divine Worship School of Dance is where you need to be.